everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige and today I want to tell you all the books that I read in April. This is my April wrap up. So in the month of April, I read 12 books. I know this is like the lowest amount of books that I think I've ever read <laughs> in the month, but I have just kind of wanting to just been reading physically instead of listening to anything like on audio or having Alexa read to me. I've just been wanting to read and uh, I just don't get a lot of books read that way. Um, but I did get 12 books read in April and I am still excited about that. I mean, I read some really great books in April and I'm thankful for even having been able to read 12. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to tell you all about them. I had six five-star reads and six four-star reads. So it was split right down in the middle, six and six. And I had 10 on KU, which is Kindle Unlimited. I had one on Hoopla and one physical because I kind of split um, one of the books. I was listening to the audiobook when I was busy. And then when I was able to sit down, I had the book and I was reading it physically. And then one was an audiobook from Scribd. So the first book I read in April is When by Lily Maine. This is a novella in the uh, Monstrous series by Lily Maine. I binged this series. This follows the first couple from the first book, which is Soul Eater. And it just kind of goes into more of their life and trying them trying to figure out how they can have a longer life together. Wynn is a monster and he's like the soul eater and Danny is human and they, Lily Maine had first said that, that she wasn't going to alter like the human lives. They were just going to have normal lifespans, but readers kept writing, it, writing in to her and you know, really wanting her to change that. And so she did. So in this novella, they are working on finding how they can prolong Danny's life so that they have a longer life together. Because Wynne is pretty much immortal and almost immortal. And he is going to live a very long time. He's already lived a long time and he doesn't want to lose Danny. So this kind of goes, just looks further into their relationship. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. I have been loving this series. I'm so sad that I finished it. And I am anxiously waiting for the next book in the series. And then I read Cinder by Melissa Meyer. This is the book that I partly listened to it on Hoopla and then also physically read it because I do have a physical copy of this book. This is a book I had my sons pick two books out for me. I only read one of the books. <laughs> I really need to read this second one. Um, but my youngest son picked out, he really wanted me to read Scarlet, but that's the second book in the series. So I picked up the first one and I did rate it four stars. It was okay. It's just YA and I'm not loving YA anymore. That's YA was all I used to read, um, but now I just need more adult books. I am just kind of over the YA. It's it's a fascinating series, but it just doesn't have what I want <laughs> from like what an adult series could give me. But this is a girl, and she is this is a this is a retelling of Cinderella, and she is cyborg and she meets the prince and his name is Kai and he this I know this is like the f starting of a whole series but I don't know if I'm going to finish it maybe someday I will but I just don't have enough intrigue in me right now to even want to think about finishing the series basically she's living with her evil stepmother and her stepsisters and she is basically the servant of their home she is really looked down upon because she is cyborg and she, and there is a lot of mystery. There's this illness going around, this plague that's killing a lot of people. And she is the key, one of the keys in helping save and figure out this mystery. Also, the emperor died. And so Kai is the prince and he becomes emperor. And they really uh, 
like each other, but of course she's cyborg and she hasn't revealed this to him and it's, you know, very looked down upon in their society. So just a lot of things going on. I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. I don't know if I will be continuing on in the series or not. Then I went back to the monster series by Lily Maine and read Gloam. This follows the monster Gloam and the human Adam. Adam we have seen previously because he is best friend of the of Danny from the first book. This caravan of monsters um, that are like trapped and enslaved by this woman comes by their camp and he make take makes you know a mission to rescue this monster who is entrapped and enslaved to this woman and so he goes with them to try to figure out how to free him and along the way they fall in love and i love their romance so much he is like this big gloom is this big just huge monster and but he is so eloquent like his 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 species is very is super smart he he just he reads a lot to to learn as much as he can and he's very you know looking at him you would think he wouldn't you know really know anything but in actual in reality he actually is very intelligent and his and Adam's romance is just so sweet he, he is such a cinnamon roll hero and I just adored their book so much and of course I rated it five stars and then I picked up Seeing Red by Cara Malone. This is a sapphic uh, retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. This is about a girl who is living with her sister. Her sister has come from a very bad um, relationship and she has two boys and her, she's trying to help her sister raise her boys and make ends meet and they're really struggling and she is not a nurse, but kind of like a nurse's aide. And she just happens to land upon this job of taking care of this elderly woman. Her granddaughter is living with her, but she's also going to school, so she can't be there constantly. So that's why they need somebody there um, to help her. And so the girl who gets the job and it really helps them out with the money and she ends up falling in love with, with the elderly lady's granddaughter. The romance was fine. Um, I this book was good not great compared to all the other books i read in april it is not one that really stands out to me but it was still good it was a good read and i'm glad that i read it and i rated it four stars and then i read the last book in the monstrous series by lily main this is moth by lily main and i freaking adored this book this um i picked this one to be my favorite book of the month because it's just so great so so great so this book revolves around the half monster half human moth uh that's what his name is and he is just kind of an outcast the monsters want nothing to do with him because he's half human and then humans want nothing to do with him because he's half monster and he has had a kind of a tragic upbringing he has been abandoned and nobody has loved him and nobody has been there for him and he's just been all alone pretty much all of his life and he has never known like true love true affection or anything until he meets Charlie Charlie is best friends with Hunter he goes out on this mission with Moth because they Moth volunteers to find this guy who's gone missing and Charlie goes with him and it's very much enemies at first because Moth wants nothing to do with him he is a loner and he just has always been that way because that's all that he's known and Charlie really breaks him down Charlie shows him you know like <laughs> he becomes his friend first and then more happens but Moth thinks that he is very uh, disgusting looking like he want he hides his monster parts of himself to all to people and it takes him a really long time to even have the courage to show Charlie anything. And Charlie is so sweet with him. He's just like, hey, let's take it at your at your pace, your time. I'm, you know, no pressure to do anything. Just, you know, I'm here for you and I'm your friend and I'm, I'm and I love you. And it's just, oh, 
this book was so amazing. He got to show Moth what it is like for somebody to be loved. And that is the first time that Moth ever had had that in his life. And it was just so sweet. I loved this book so much. And I am so wanting the next book in the series. Don't know when that's going to be, but I am really looking forward to another book in this series. And then I picked up I Married a Minotaur by Regine Abel. This is the newest book in the Prime Mating Agency series. Um, as you have known that I have read the whole entire Prime Mating Agency series this year and I absolutely adore the series. It is monster romances and they are such cinnamon roll heroes and I love this series so freaking much. This one I wasn't quite sure about because previously in the previous one of the previous books which is I Married a Birdman, this hero in this book his him and his species are the enemies in that book so I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about it but he has actually taken over he's like the new leader of their species of their clan um, and he's trying to turn things around. He's trying to make things different from how it previously was. He doesn't, you know, he wants peace with the humans and he wants, you know, just better things for his species. His species are very hate driven, not really hate driven, but they need to fight like that is just what they have to do. He's trying to form this plan of how to let his species get out the aggression, the aggressive the aggression <laughs> I'll say it eventually the aggression that they have without hurting anybody and so he makes this grand plan of having like these uh, fighting matches and um, he also is entered into the prime mating agency and he is paired with this human girl and she comes to live with him and be married with him she's actually in prison because she kind of dabbles in illegal things and she is actually in prison and so this is um, offered to her and of course she takes it to get out of prison and she has to be married to him for a year before you know they decide whether they're going to stay in the marriage or not and this was their romance. It was not my favorite in the series but I still really loved it a lot. I've not hated any of the books in this series. I've just, they're, they're all, they're all so good. And I still rated it five stars. And then I picked up Galen by Jacqueline Osborne. This is an MM romance and this is about a fallen angel. He is this, um, like fallen angel, Nephilim, Nephilim. How do you say that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but he is this there is this special like ring that is was made and it has been protected for you know all these years and now it is it was accidentally accidentally given to this um, antique shop and so he goes to this antique shop in search of it because he would they don't want it falling into the hands of the demons because it could release Lucifer and um, there he meets Simon and he is the antique shop owner. He has to save Simon because the demons also come to attack and he has to take Simon back to his and his brother's um, place where they're staying at and they heal him and but they also have to protect him now because the demons know who he is and so they're trying to get the ring from him and so it's kind of a forced proximity this book was okay it just I was wanting like I was really in a deep, uh, bad book hangover from finishing the monstrous series by Lily Maine and I was just trying to find something that was similar to it but of course you know nothing can really hold up to the, the book standards of that series for me so anyway this book was good it continues on in that series I haven't continued on yet it was okay not the greatest but not it wasn't bad so I rated it four stars and then I read see me to sleep by RM virtues I really struggled with this book I don't know why well I kind of I do know why but I really was sad that I really struggled with this book I did end up rating it four stars I rated it much higher than I thought I would rate it because I struggled reading this book. I DNF'd it 
one time but I picked it back up because I'm like it's so short I just need to finish it and it did get better towards the end but I felt like coming into this book that I was missing a whole lot of information and it almost felt like this was a spinoff from another book and it may well be I don't know exactly but I feel like that I needed more information to go on because it it kind of just felt like I was thrown into this world that I had no clue about that I should have known and it didn't make a whole lot of sense about what was happening so this girl witnessed her dad being murdered and she has had horrible horrible nightmares she can't sleep anymore her life is just crumbling and she is given this like medication to help her sleep and so she takes it and makes her have sleep paralysis at night and there in her sleep she meets this demon and um, it's a very intriguing premise synopsis of the you know story and it was very intriguing for me to read I just really had trouble reading it because it just felt like there wasn't a lot of communication between her and the demon and all and it just kind of jumped right to him them having you know like a sexual relationship without even kind of knowing like what he is or a lot of there was just wasn't enough communication between them for me and that's what I was really struggling with but as the book went on it did get better and I did end up giving it four stars this would probably be like three and a half stars but um, I just rounded up to four and then I read The Devil by Ashley Jade this is was a crazy crazy ride I had I did not know anything about this book um, I just had heard it being recommended several times and that it's like this crazy story and boy is it this is a duet and I read the duet so this is about Eden she's a girl who has lost her mother but she she is very she has a lot of anxiety about leaving her house she can't leave her house anymore because of something that happened to her when she was a child she was going to school she had a crush on her teacher she had written some letters but she never intended for anybody to see them. They were just letters that she has written and somebody got them and spread them around. And so they all thought that she was having a relationship with her teacher and her mother it was very, her mother was not a good mother and she kept basically kept her away and she is now uh, desperately afraid of leaving her house and her she's now living with her stepfather the guy that's been married to her mother but her mother is now passed away and it's just her and him she has this huge crush on her stepfather and they are kind of um, tiptoeing into a relationship with each other but he is also running for a political um, position I think governor is what it is and so he is really trying to, you know, n not let anything happen between them to keep his reputation, reputation clean. And then it really jumps to the past of where, like where he came from, where he started. And it, it introduces this other character, which was his friend back when he was in high school. And that is when it really starts to, um, the book just kind of takes a crazy turn. I don't want to say anything else uh, besides that because you really need to go into these books blind and read them because it is a crazy, crazy ride for sure. And then I read the second book in the duet, which is The Devil's Advocate by Ashley Jade. And this kind of concludes where the story goes because this other character that is from uh, Kate's, uh, Kane's past, um, which is, that's her stepfather. The other character is Damien, and so she's Eden is kind of stuck between um, Kane and 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 Damien, and it's pretty wild for sh for sure. But it was kept me on my toes, and it kept me so intrigued, and it was very entertaining, and I couldn't put it down. And I 
rated the first one five stars and the second one four stars. And then I read Bind Me and Still by Beast and this is a wolf shifter kind of paranormal romance and this is an MM romance. So this sh uh, man is, this wolf shifter is passing through the area. He's kind of a loner and he uh, stumbles upon this wolf pack and he notices that the Omega wolf in the group is, is not being treated fairly, is not being treated you know very very well so he um takes down the you know he he doesn't try to challenge the the alpha of the pack but he is um does have to fight him and of course he wins and so the so he takes the omega from this pack and they travel off to somewhere else and uh they along the way he falls in love with the omega and he uh that's pretty much it. There wasn't a whole lot to the story plot wise and this is kind of in a dystopian future because the the earth is not the same as it used to be. Humans are um, congregated in, in certain places and they hate the wolves and all that but it was okay. I rated it four stars. Um, not the best but it did keep me entertained. And the last book that I read in April is Find Me by Ashley in Ross Tech. This was good. I rated it five stars because it kept me very highly entertained. It was very intriguing. I couldn't put it down. And, um, but it did kind of feel like this was her like debut book. I don't know if it is or not, but her writing was not the best because scenes would get cut short. Um, it just didn't feel like there was a whole lot of certain scenes didn't really go into a whole lot of details and I just it just felt like this was a new writer um but it was a good book considering all of that except for I did not know this was she was going to be in high school I'm really kind of out of reading you know this is not YA but it is she is in high school it's pretty much new adult and she has had a very traumatic past her name is Shiloh and she has pretty much, she witnessed her family being murdered and she was held hostage and, and she's been stalked by this teacher she had in school. And so now she has been living with her uncle. They have been in the witness protection program. And now she has relocated to this place and she m moves into her house and she meets the four brothers who are living next door. And she begins a friendship with all four of them. And this is slow burn because I don't think anything happens in the first book at all. I think she saves it all for the second book. But I didn't get that finished until May. So I'll have to come back and let you know what I thought about the second book in the series. Which I did not know. Each of these books leaves off on a cliffhanger. I thought this series was done. But it's actually not. So be aware of going into this series that this is not a completed series and each book leaves off on a cliffhanger. I did rate this one five stars and it made me want to read continue on in the series. It's not the greatest but it was very ent entertaining and I was really intrigued with her story and of course this is an RH reverse harem because she is ultimately with all four of the brothers. So those are all the books that I read in April. Let me know if you've read any of them and how you like them. Let me know what you've been reading. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.